This is Daniel Presedo, and I'm here to discuss 3D in Photoshop CS6. Let's take a quick look at the workflow between Poser Pro 2012 to Photoshop CS6. I'm in Poser Pro right now. I have a model here, Bacon, and I'm going to just do a quick export, Collada, single frame. I'm going to exclude the ground plane because we already have that support in Photoshop. I'm going to choose the preset here, Photoshop CS. And it has a transparency option that's friendly to Photoshop. I'm going to choose maximize my texture in powers of two. I think those are plenty big. I'm going to choose triangles as well. It's something that Photoshop does on import, and it's just one less step for Photoshop. And it might just import that much faster, just a little bit faster. And importantly here, I'm going to exclude rigging. Photoshop's my last stop for my file. And in addition, that if I include the rigging, this pose will not be retained in Photoshop. It'll just be it'll just be ignored. You really want to uncheck that if you want your pose or pose to appear in Photoshop. We'll say OK. I'm going to replace that file and not go into Photoshop. Under the 3D menu, new 3D layer from file. We're going to choose the bacon collada file. It comes in without a light which is fine because I'm going to add a new light anyway. 3D panel here. Down at the bottom, I'm going to say new infinite light. And there we go. We have a light. I'm going to kind of pose it over here a little bit. And let's change the camera. Let's make it a little more friendly for us. We're going to have them kind of move towards us here. Really close. Come on there. Rotate him a little bit again. It's a big dog. We can reduce the file size just a little bit. Well, we'll reduce the, the dog a little bit here. Drop him to the ground. I think we're going to rotate him over just a little bit again. Now, I'm going to use the background image. I'm going to click on the background, copy it, go back to my 3D layer, and choose environment. Select IBL on. Now I'm going to use that background as my new texture. Say new texture. We will now open it. Image base slide. Click over here. Copy it in there. I'm going to save it. And as you can see, this picture is now part of my scene. It's just the light. It's an image based light. So I'm using that for my lighting here. I'm going to click again to bring back to the camera view, and you can see his tongue is kind of wild reflection there. Let's do a quick render to see where we are. And that is the basics of going between both programs. It's just a matter of cleaning up these materials, but that's the basic workflow between Poser Pro 2012 and Photoshop CS6. If you have any questions, you can always add comments to the end of this video, and I'll try to get back to them as quickly as I can. Enjoy.